Let's see, ten miles of me, five miles of me, or something. No, I, was raised, I was raised in the country. I'm a country uh -huh. girl. I'm not a city girl. Haynesville has the big echelons on the other side of it. We're on this side. Well, we're across the track. Um, uh -huh. Would you be happy if you found us? But, but where Probably would you? Not. Where would you? Uh, Where are any place. houses? There's like, not a place. See, we have land up there, Greenville's land. It's not divided. I have land in Arkansas. It's not divided. My mom's land. You know, but, we're humans, so we're not really ever living. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> and always something we will. Always something. Always but, something. Now, people, people. But don't we? It's a desire in a man's heart to please his wife. Oh, yeah. yeah, I didn't. Now, I know it don't seem that way, but we do. We want to keep our heart. Sandra's <laughs> like, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, but, okay, goodness. if we pray and seek God about this, right. I've asked, you know. I don't want to do something He don't want us to right. do. I really, really don't. I'm saying that. From my heart, I don't want to do something he does not want us to do. I right. don't. To me, Even it would. My desires may be: I think I want this. I think I want that. I think I want to do this. Not if he doesn't want us to. I don't. Stop to us. Okay. You just put an end to it if you don't want us to do something. I like it. To me, it... Lord, help me today. Yes. Show me the way. Well, that's One right. day at a time. One, One day, day at a time. time. Yeah. Okay. To me, it's it's um, fun. Picking out more formica because the formica that I picked out looks like um, granite. Yeah. Because it's the 180 FX and it looks like granite. Well, let's don't just keep talking about that because I'm gonna get aggravated here. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna be jealous. And I already picked out Nick, the are floor. You happy with everything happy. Everything's fine in the house. Y'all got yeah, you got a brand new house. See there? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm gonna paint the countertops a different color. I prayed for years to get out of that place over, but I thought thank God every day he put a roof on my head. Amen. He always provided. But y'all have to me I wanted a, a new home. But it didn't happen then. It's all simply in his timing if he wants you to have. Yes, that I agree. He blessed me. It is timing, though. That's right, in his time. See, I, I, I mean, I thought about what y'all had. I said, that'd be nice if we had a, a trailer that was, but we like, where to put it, what to do. We have to sell our house. And, you know, what I'm saying is these are things that we have to deal with every day. And can we wait on God and sometimes it seems crazy. Now, Trey has plans, but he, he doesn't know what he wants to do yet, probably. He doesn't know. It, well, you're going to college, right? Planning on it. You plan on it. You, you need to. Or because because you've got a brain, you've got a good mind to do it. Connor don't want to go because <laughs> he don't care enough about college. Braden. He makes straight A's in here. He wants to go to college. He, that's his desire. He, he loves he loves stuff like that. Different people, different plans. And what we want to do when we end this life, we want to be content with what God has given us. You know, that's what I'm saying. Because you know why we not care nothing with us. We, we come here without anything, and the Bible says we're leaving without. So let's just do what. Let's pray for one another. Let's see, that's one thing we can do as priests. We are royal priesthood. We, okay, we come together and we pray together. Now, how many of you know the easiest thing to do is to gripe and fuss and complain and say, God says, no, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. He said, I hear everything you say. Let's just work together and watch me. How many of you believe God can answer your prayer? He's going to put somebody in your path today. He's going, to, he's going to cause you to do something that you may not want to do it at first, but he's going to really bless you when you do it. I love to watch God do stuff. I mean, he does. He puts people in your path. Uh, I love to talk to people. When you, 
no question. Uh, I mentioned, I think it was the last week, pray with somebody. Now that's not easy to do, is it? It's to say, hey, you you know why, why is it hard to pray with somebody? We're not used to it. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't want to say, okay, Pop Stark years ago, a friend of ours used to say, every time we get in a car, the girls knew it, his wife knew it, and he knew it. Every time they got in the car, he prayed before he left. That's a good thing to do. We used to do that. We still do. We do that. We, we pray. Ask Lord. Generally, we do it. If she's not mad at me or I'm not mad at her, we normally pray. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good idea and now here's the thing the heart it's where the heart is it takes a while sometimes for us to get our heart right and God will deal with that uh, it took me a long time me and Terry were getting old and uh, it took Terry a long time to see, okay, this is where this is my place. This is what I need to do in life. There's going to be ways that you don't know that God's going to use you as yet, but He is using, and He's opening doors. And Clint's in the same way. God prepares us. We don't know what to do. You ladies, we you don't know what all God wants to do in your life, but He's got a good plan for us. You believe that? He's got a good plan. And we may not understand it. And we may have to go through heartache. But it's going to be good on the other side. So we've got to remember that. Keep praying. Keep, keep believing God. Keep making intercession. Pray and praise. And do things out of love. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, kindness. And the opposite of that is not good. But aren't you glad you met Jesus? Now, we all worship something. Is that right? We all worship something. Uh, what do you worship? You got to think about it. What do you worship? You worship you, your will, or do you worship Him? We need to offer up word of worship to Him every day. They that worship me, Jesus said to that woman, must worship me in spirit and in truth. And so it is. it's not truth and it's not in the spirit then we need to repent of it and say God I'm sorry I want to do what's right I pray the Lord to help us and the easiest thing to do is criticize I, I can leave here and somebody and, and the first thing I want to do is I want to that uh, that uh, we do that though but God is all wise. When's the last time you asked God for wisdom? Lord, give me wisdom. Not too long ago. Will he give you wisdom if you ask him? According to his word, he will. And then, these are the things that God puts on my heart to pray. Lord, give me a hunger for your word. I don't naturally hunger for the Bible. I supernaturally do. But a lot of times, the reason we don't get an answer, we don't get in this word every day. We, we get away from the word and we start wondering, well, Lord, I don't feel content. And I don't feel, uh, you know, God said, listen, get the word every morning. Now, this is, becomes a habit of let's just take the Bible and open it up and go to a verse and look, a verse. That's what I try to do is a verse and let God speak to us and hear there. Well, the Lord's good, and I thank you for being here today. Uh, God is working. God loves a broken and a contrite spirit. Uh, Jesus surrendered his will to the Father to go to the cross. You remember what Jesus said? He said, is there any other way? And so you go face this lot of it any other way. He said, but not my will, but your will be done. That's obedience. Even though it's not easy. I'm gonna tell you something, it's easy. 
That's the part of us. That's that sacrifice of praise. The fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. Hebrews 13, continually. We go out and we, we take a stand for him in a small way. And then God bless us. Teach, teach, love. Do what God called us to do. Uh, there, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. I, I pray God will give you rest, he'll give you peace, he'll give you wisdom. We need his wisdom right now. Whatever God wants you to do. Now we're facing, uh, Sandra and I are facing, we talk, we're talking about looking shop and stuff. So, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm already taking mine. Sandra takes hers Tuesday. Pray for us. I'll be on the February the 1st. I got to go back and get my second one. I pray everything goes well. I don't have any side effects. If I do, it will be minimal. Uh, the, our kids, our kids, our grandkids have had it. Connor had it. I mean, no, Bray had, had it. Addison had it. But my, my daughters hadn't had it. So, I mean, I'm just saying, let's just, we need your prayers. We need to pray for us. When you you say, well, when you're thinking and worrying and stuff, start praying. And pray that God, how many, listen, how many of you know, how many times could you have been killed coming up in car wrecks and all these other things that God protected you? You could have been killed just taken out of this bush that God protected you. And Trey, you don't even realize how many times God watched over you when that old water boxing could have got you out. Something could have happened and, and the water could have swept you away. And I remember you were walking along the highway one day and, you, and the angel was hollering at you, Trey, get away from there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember that. He's little. I, I, and see, here's the thing about it. When you love, love is the greatest thing you can do. Love never fails. Now, we don't know how to love, do we? I mean, I need God's love, His love, but I need to know how to love people. I need to know how to talk to people. I need to know how to have compassion on people. Jesus' greatest ministry, I believe, was His compassion. He didn't condemn people. He was in here. The Spirit. Amen. That's it. The love. He loves everybody. Amen. I don't care who they are. You love That's them. right. That's no one. I, Everybody. You know, really and truly, I, I don't believe we have a racial divide in this country at all. I think the new media just loves to promote that. We ain't got a better problem with one another. I don't we care don't. what nationality or race you are. If you act like a crazy person, don't no treat you like a crazy person. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but if you act right, you, I mean, we can love people. God's given us that. Well, God right. created everybody. And that's, that's right. what you got to realize. That's right. I mean, God loves them. He doesn't know like what they do, and we don't like what they do. No, no. And no, he doesn't. He doesn't approve of what everybody does. Uh, I mean, he, that's a, that's a rough verse. I told my wife, I said, I don't, I don't quote that verse very much. But he even, he even made the wicked for the day of judgment. Yeah, yeah. There's some people who can't go serve God. You say, well, all right, if you don't serve God, you're going to suffer the consequences. Uh, even though he loves you. So let's pray together and ask God to help us. Father, we do thank you for the people you've given us, and we, we just want to glorify your name and thank you. Lord, we, we just, uh, of all things, we want everyone to go to heaven and be with you and to know you. And I pray you'll do that. In this congregation, and those of us who couldn't be here today, I pray you special blessings on them. That you encourage us. Thank you for your word. Thank you that we can talk to you. Thank you that you've called us uh, as a royal priesthood to make intercession for those that are lost, those that are hurting, those that are facing problems. And help us honor Jesus with our lives. Bless us, we Lord. Give us your safety, your wisdom, and your complete healing. Your, that you heal us, Lord. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Y'all have a blessed week. I appreciate you coming. We will eat breakfast next time.
next week we're going to have a prayer.